The U.S. Air Force and Raytheon have completed the developmental and operational tests of the latest advanced medium-range air-to-air missile AMRAAM variant at the Eglin Test and Training Range in Florida. The phase concluded with a live-fire demonstration of an AIM-120D-3 from an F-16 fighter jet, proving the weapon's air-to-air -air capabilities according to U.S. Air Force and Navy requirements. AIM-120D-3 incorporates modernized circuit card assemblies to address missile obsolescence as well as continuous software updates in compliance with U.S. Defense's form, fit, function, and refresh initiative. Flight test of the new AIM-120D-3 demonstrated the missile's hardware and software capability improvements. I'm excited for our warfighters to have this newest variant of the AIM-120 missile in their arsenal, AMRAAM program manager Colonel Sean Bradley stated. Raytheon received the contract to produce upgraded AMRAAM systems in August 2022. Alongside the AIM-120D3 variants, the $972 million award-ordered software and hardware updates for the AIM-120C-8 missiles. The AIM-120D3's maiden live fire test was held in July 2022. The plan to upgrade the AIM-120 capability was announced in 2021. Earlier this year, Raytheon received a $1.15 billion contract for the supply of AIM-120D3 and C-8 missiles. AMRAA MIS ordered under the agreement will be distributed to the U.S. Air Force and Navy, and 18 other countries, including Ukraine. We are ramping AMRAAM production to a greater rate than ever before in the history of this program, Raytheon Air Power President Paul Ferraro stated. With significantly increased functionality, performance and producibility, and the completion of the flight test program, we are ensuring warfighters can count on having the fifth generation of AMRAAM, and enough of them, in their arsenal.